Say we started off as songwriters. Okay. Songwriters, artists. Um, when I when Chris went to university, he started um, producing. He started learning Ableton. Um, I was then still at home. I dropped out of school, and I was just kind of still like writing songs on acoustic guitars and keys, and um, just kind of learning my voice. And when he came home for the summers, we'd start to like you know show each other what we've been working on, what we've been learning, and um, the artistry aspect was always there. Like we always knew when we came to like came together to perform a live show. Like we we already knew our like our roots, but you know the I would say like the production is what kind of built over time. And then on top of that, like working with all types of artists and producing different genres is what the last like three, four years has like really like grown to be. Yeah. When we started, we would write songs like as a band. So I would be on the drums, Alex would be on guitar and our, you know, our, the other bandmates were actually two brothers also. So say we had a show that night, you know, we'd be jamming all week, but say we need a new intro. So we just make it on the spot, and then like say like we need like you know we're at the bridge, and when you're when you're writing songs like behind the drum kit or behind an instrument, you kind of feel what comes next, you know what I mean? Like as as a structuring a song, it's a little different with electronic music because you're kind of just like behind, it's not as hands on when you're you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. if if I want to program drums, I got to sit there and like think, okay, that's triplet. But if I want to play it, I just play it. So it's a little easier like that. But at the same time, just having that background, it just really helps you just creating songs. It's helped structure. us, you know. I think we've taken all the appropriate steps to a point now that, you know, we're finally super comfortable in the studio, on stage, working with a pop girl singer, working with a pop guy singer, and working with, you know, um, a rapper, working with, you know, another electronic producer. So we're, we're, we're just students still, man. Like, we've never really... That's just one thing about us is that we've never really like thought we were the best or we will be the best. We just always want to keep learning. And that's totally. how you just kind of master a craft. In the end, we're just entertainers. We've been entertaining people since we were young. We used to play like the highest level of soccer you could play in Canada. And we grew up in Europe for a little bit. So just playing soccer and all that, it's just entertaining. You're always entertaining. There's always energy. Everything is based on energy. If, you know, if you're taking on a man, you come at him with speed because of the energy... He can't stop you if you're running fast. If you're running slow, he can hit the ball off you. I mean, yeah. so that's kind of like it's kind of like music. You hit the crowd with some. With totally, right man. Back. I love that, like sports. Yeah, approach. yeah. And also it kind of translates with rhythm. You know what I mean? Soccer, you you, you kind of have to you have to have good rhythm with the ball to like you know actually be able to you know keep keep winning and and scoring against your opponent. Yeah. And that's the same thing, you know, when you're juggling a soccer ball. It's like one, two, three, four. You kind of have to keep up with the rhythm the same. It's like a tempo it's in like your a body. a metronome in your head. Yeah. It's kind of already programmed there.